Hello. Last week I did a YouTube video about these micro MV camcorders. They take these tiny little tapes. They're sweet little camcorders, but of course they're extremely hard to get hold of these days. Special delivery. Oh, thank you. Well, we have another one to play with. Let's get stuck in. Right, let's see what we have here. I'm told this doesn't work, but we'll find out. So the uh, camcorder in an original Handycam Micro MV case. I've never seen one of these before. That's quite sweet. So the case is exactly the right size for the camcorder. Sony service, so this has obviously been in for repair at some time. We have a new cleaning tape. I have quite a lot of these, and I believe it's possible they were actually supplied with the camcorders, which is why so many people had them. Uh, one of these awful SCART connectors, and original guarantee instructions. And movie shaker, which of course we were looking at on my previous video. Do you know, I had some real trouble getting hold of a, a copy of movie shaker to do that last video, and now <laughs> here there is one. Um, if people struggle with that, let me know and I will make a link available somewhere for that one. And here's some information on accessories for Micro MV. Oh, wide angle lens, I've got that on one of the camcorders. Uh, including things like being able to plug those um, silly little memory sticks into uh, a USB uh, adapter there. All these different uh, accessories. I expect some of these sold in very small quantities. Oh, I have seen these purple connectors. Ah, there's our carry bag. And printers, digital photo printers. All very hip and trendy, I'm sure. So we have a separate battery charger here with a UK adapter so that was probably oh I see that's just got a figure of eight so you can run that on any um, figure eight cable car battery type adapter so there must be a socket somewhere I didn't know there was a, a socket for charging on here no that's wrong that must be just for this yes so you can charge your batteries from 12 volts and another charger and the AV cable. I didn't really talk much about this in the last video. This is this slightly strange connector here, but it's not uh, used only on micro MV. Uh, that was also used on, I think, some of the mini DV and even DVD camcorders from Sony of about this vintage. But what we seem to be missing is a mains adapter. So um, I'll find one and um, plug it in and try it. Okay, I have a mains adapter, ACL25A. Let's see if this camcorder works. Well, looks promising. Oh, the backlight's off, so we'll switch it on. That's a lot clearer. Uh, the It says there's recordings on here, but doesn't know what the time is because the clock was never set. Right, let's... Uh, Rewind, see if there's any useful recording on here. Well, there's no recognisable image. It could be that the CCD has failed. Let's um, switch it to camera mode. Yes, there's no recognisable image. So it looks like uh, CCD failure. Uh, that was something that would happen on some of these Sony products of about this vintage. Uh, actually, not just Sony ones, but other products that used Sony CCDs. In fact, one of my Canon camcorders died with a, a CCD failure. So uh, that might be why the camcorder came out of uh, use, because uh, it couldn't be used as a camcorder anymore. But let's see if it still plays OK. We'll put another tape in. OK, playback seems OK. I'm going to have to go through this uh, dreadful menu to alter the volume control, as I demonstrated in my previous video. Uh, can I just show you something I didn't mention on my previous video? Well, I mentioned it, but I didn't demonstrate it, which is skip scan, uh, or otherwise known as peep search. And the way it works is it's fast forwarding a tape. But then if I press the fast forward button again, you'll see it drop into picture search. But if I let go, it carries on back in fast forward. This feature is available on most micro uh, mini DV camcorders uh, but not quite all 
uh, is available on most uh, Video 8 and Hi8 camcorders and Digital 8, again, especially Sony ones, but not all. Uh, it's also available on most Sony Beta video recorders, um, not Sanyo ones though, uh, and is sort of emulated on certain VHS and Super VHS machines, including Panasonic. So if you have a video recorder, try that, put it in fast forward, and then press fast forward again. Similarly, rewind. And I want to listen to rewind, make sure it's not clattering like one of my previous ones was. That's nice and quiet. And there's peep search. So this one's working fine for playback, it would appear, but uh, no good for recording. We'll just um, demonstrate this uh, peculiar AV cable. And I should be able to uh, display the images on there. Good. Something else that came up in the uh, YouTube video I did about Micro MV was how hard it is to take the tapes apart. And um, I've had a gift, a gift note from Richard of Croydon. I thought this might be useful to you, watching how you were getting into the small Micro MV tapes. Has sent me this. Very nice. Precision bit set. So let's see if that will uh, get us into this tape. It includes a sticker set, which I absolutely love. Look at this. I fixed it. <laughs> How wonderful. I'll use those. Extremely small precision bit sets. These look fantastic. Let's see if we can find one to suit the micro MV tape. Some of these are so small. We need help to see what they are. They are actually marked on the base. There's one here that you think, what's that for? It's just a circle, but it's marked SIM. So that's for those SIM trays, I think. So let's find the smallest of the posi drives. I think the problem is the, it's not the thick, it's the size of the head that's the problem, it's the size of the shaft. We need an extremely narrow shaft to get down these tiny slots. That looks promising. So you remember I broke on the other tape, I broke this tab off to get the screwdriver in here. That goes straight in. Excellent. What about this one though? This is even more tight, this tiny little hole here. Yes. So somebody had com um, commented on my previous video. They said, you were a bit brutal taking that tape apart. You need to get some precision screwdrivers. Uh, well, I thought I had precision screwdrivers, but um, nothing quite like this. This is absolutely extraordinary. So yes, I can now properly take micro MV tapes apart without colliding with the uh, case. So Philips, that's two L's. That's that kind of Philips. One L is the electronic manufacturer. So triple zero. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a triple zero before. Double zero, zero, one and two. Then small flathead, Torx, uh, Torx security. So they're the ones with a pin in the middle. Pentalobe, not seen Pentalobe before. JIS, so they're the Japanese screws. Hex, small hex, tripoint. Uh, that's some of these nut drivers at the top here. Square, not come across many square um, in, in small sizes, not come across square drives. Game bit, right, not one to recognize. Spanner, so that's two pins. Triangle, uh, again, I've not come across triangle very often. I think I have on the odd thing, such as, um, I think I've seen triangle ones on toaster of all things. A standoff bit for iPhone. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, that's the one that says standoff for iPhone. So it's a posi drive one, which is sort of shouldered. It's got shoulders on it, unusual. An oval drive, 
a drive adapter. Okay, it's a flexible adapter, so you can start with that size and then move to the larger size for the larger pieces like these. And then magnetized driver handle, which actually feels really good. It really does feel apart. And then the whole the whole case is magnetic too. Good idea, because of course you don't want pieces bailing out. Well, what can I say? I'm uh, delighted to receive this. Thank you very much, Richard from Croydon. It's going to get plenty of use, and it certainly does solve the problem of dismantling micro MV tapes. Well, I thought I might have to do repairs to this uh, little camcorder, but uh, it's working, apart from the CCD. It's not really practical to repair that. If I had a scrap camcorder, I could strip it down and swap over the CCD, maybe, but it wouldn't be easy. Uh, and there's going to be settings in there that you'd have to set up to work with a different CCD for optimal performance, and they'd be very hard to set up. So I'm going to leave that with uh, a non-functioning CCD. I'll do plenty more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now. <laughs>